the Indigenous Creative Arts Network, ICANN, shared some much-needed information to people visiting the Eddie Hart grounds on Friday. The community outreach is part ICANN's partnership with the United Nations and falls in line with the UN's Global Spotlight Initiative to eliminate violence against women and girls. Information and resources were shared with members of the public at the various information tables to treat with gender-based violence and family violence. Tunapuna Piaco Regional Corporation Youth Representative Darian Campbell said they are hopeful that the Spotlight Initiative will assist in bringing awareness to gender-based violence and one day bring an end to it. You may not be going through it, but somebody you know may be going through it. And we are just scared to help the youth of today need to take a stand. And here we are this evening just to do just to do just that, right? To put it at the forefront and to make this topic um really known, to share it wherever you share things on social media by word of mouth to your neighbor. Let them know that gender-based violence is something that you stand against and that it needs to stop. Spotlight Program Coordinator at the UN, Nikita Mohammed, said the program would not be possible without groups like ICANN. What we're trying to do in Trinidad today as one of the recipients of Spotlight Initiative funding is to address family violence. The unfortunate reality is that one in three women and girls in Trinidad today will experience violence in their lifetime. That means that you yourself is on a curse of violence and sadly you will know someone that has it. So we're here today to encourage discussion, dialogue, to share information and support that's available to women and girls, also to men and boys.